Hey guys, welcome to our new home gym. I'm super excited with how it turned out. And today we're gonna take you through all of the equipment. We were lucky enough to partner with Lifeline Fitness and they gave us some really cool stuff. Yeah, and since this gym is in our basement, we kind of wanted to liven things up and add some color. So we did a really awesome feature wall. Can't wait to show you. Let's get right into it. Okay, so for this feature wall in our gym, we went with a geometric pattern. And I really like how it turned out. Yeah, it's a more modern design and we used one by two by eights in MDF. They're like a buck a piece. So it's a super inexpensive wall to put together as well. Now I started by laying it all out on the computer. I had took the dimensions of the wall and then kind of laid it out for Jamie to take a look at and make sure that we were both on the same page. Now, if you don't have access to CAD or you just don't know how to use it, then you could always put some pencil to the paper and um, use some graph paper maybe, or even create a somewhat of a scale drawing and then be, being able to measure that um, with a ruler and find out your length of cuts. Now, when it came to installing the boards on the wall, what we did was we actually located all of the studs first and then we would tack them on with brad nails, 18 gauge brad nails that were long enough to hit through the board and into the studs. Now, wherever the board didn't fall on a stud, and especially where there was a joint or if there was a vertical board that just didn't land on any studs whatsoever, then we would use DAP's Rapid Fuse to adhere it to the drywall. If you like videos like this and you wanna see more of them, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. And also, don't forget to ring that bell right next to it so that you get notifications anytime we drop a new video. So after we had all the one by twos installed in the wall, it was then time to go back and fill all the nail holes and all the joints. For the nail holes, I used DAPS Painter's Putty, and for the joints, I used DAPS Platinum Patch. And the nice thing about the Painter's Putty is that you can simply wipe it on, it doesn't shrink, and it fills the nail hole, no need for sanding. Now the Platinum Patch is much like wood filler, it's gonna fill that joint and make sure that it doesn't crack. It also bonds to a variety of surfaces, so it's great. It's also great for interior and exterior projects. So after I had everything sanded and cleaned off, it was then time to start to paint. This color is by Barrett, and it's called Alpine Trail. There was a lot of cutting in with the paintbrush. As you can see, the geometrical pattern, lots of angles that she needed to get into. So I handed that task off to her and she did an excellent job. Of course I did. So now that the wall's done, we get to move on to the equipment that went into the room. Let's start with the adjustable bench. Now we assembled this, it came flat packed, but it was really easy to assemble. It's built super well. Uh, the back has five stops. It'll go all the way up to just about straight up. Well, I guess that is straight up to all the way completely flat. And the seat has three stops where it'll be, you know, if you're doing like a, uh, an inclined press all the way to flat as well. It's built out of some really thick metal. It's got wheels on the back and a nice handle on the front so we can get this thing moved into position right where we need it. And the adjustable bench is gonna be the perfect complement to this power rack. This is the C1 Pro rack from Lifeline Fitness and it was super easy to put together. It just took me and Jamie, um, the two of us, and we were able to stand this thing up and bolt all of the pieces together pretty quickly. Now, if, you've not, if you're not familiar with a power rack, um, what this is, is there's different sizes. This is the C1 or a full size uh, power rack. This has uh, spotter arms. Now the spotter arms are perfect for if you're doing a bench press without a spotter or you're doing um, you know, squats or something like that, you're gonna set these down just below your lower limit. So right at your chest if you're doing a bench press. That way, if you end up doing too much, you've got a place to rest the bar without crushing your chest. We've also got these J hooks. Now the J hooks are gonna be where you're gonna rack your bar. So the Olympic bar, when you set that down, um, you're gonna, you can adjust these as well. So if you're doing squats, you're gonna have them up high. If you're doing a bench press, you're gonna be setting them down here, lower like that. The other thing is we've got a big wide pull-up bar as well as a skinnier uh, pull-up bar that has different grips that allows you to do different types of pull-ups. The other cool feature is that the spotter bar or one of the spotter bars has these two, um, these two dip bars actually fit right into the spotter bar and that way 
you can set this up and then you can do dips from there. We've also got in the back, we've got 10 spots for the weight plates to be racked as well as a couple of cylinders for the Olympic bar to sit in place when it's not being used. And to go with the rack, we actually went with a bumper plate set and the Olympic bar that also comes with two collars. All right, so now we're gonna move on over to my favorite part of the gym, which is actually the dumbbells. Now I went with the 1200 pound set of pro round dumbbells from Lifeline Fitness, and I just love this set. It has from five pound dumbbells all the way up to 75 pound dumbbells. So we're gonna be able to do some heavier weight um, exercises like squats and stuff like that with the 75 pound dumbbells, as well as chest exercises, and then all the way down to the five pound dumbbells for some lighter weight exercises as well. Now, the thing that I love about this set is that it's got that commercial look. It's very sleek with the round dumbbells. It's also got that rubber coating on them that's gonna protect my floors. Uh, now, this set also comes with the three tier storage that you see it being stored on, which is extremely well built. It's made out of a very thick gauge steel and it's super easy to assemble, which we did ourselves. Now being able to pair these dumbbells with our adjustable bench is gonna give us a wide range of exercises that we can do. So in addition to all the gym equipment that I was able to partner with Lifeline Fitness on, they actually sent me a few other contraptions that I got to try out, which I was extremely impressed. They sent me the power wheel, which is a core trainer and you can do lots of different exercises with that wheel, kind of like an ab wheel, but it's also, but it's connected to your feet. Um, they also sent me the pull up revolution, which is a, uh, it's like a, a resistance or an assistance system for pull-ups. So you hook it to your pull-up bar and then you put your foot in the uh, thing and we got here resistance bands and you can take those off um, to give you less assistance. And this is gonna enable you to do more pull-ups. Now this is the Jungle Gym version three. And the cool thing about this is you can use it. It's actually packs up really nice in this to go um, bag. So you can actually travel with it. And it's also got a bunch of cards here for different exercises. Now the, the two in one system or the dual mode part of this uh, contraption is there's body weight as well as resistance cable system. So you can actually hook up resistance bands in order to do strength training. And you can also use your body weight, which is simply, it's gonna be closer to a, um, a TRX style of, of workout. So if you're familiar with a TRX style of working out where it's mostly body weight, you're using straps similar to this, this combines that style of working out along with resistance bands and it makes it mobile. So you can take this system with you. You've also got these, this is just the anchor system for connecting to a bar like that, but these are actually uh, meant to fit into a door jam so that you can use it virtually anywhere and have a ton of exercises that you can do with the system. Now we also moved Jamie's Peloton down here from upstairs in our bedroom. Now I got this bike for her last year and she has been riding it religiously. I think she's got actually close to 300 rides on this bike in a little under or a little around about a year. So if you wanna compete with her, make sure you look her up. Her username on Peloton is Jamie720, J-A-M-I-E 720. And my name's Rogue Engineer. So make sure you and send us a friend request and uh, maybe we can uh, link up on the leaderboard from time to time. Now, obviously one thing that we're gonna need in the gym is a ceiling fan. For the ceiling fan, we actually went with the 56 inch reed in anvil iron, and that is from Kishler. And we love the look of it. We felt like it was very fitting for the gym and it's just turned out great. It's been nice to turn that on during a workout and cool down. So we absolutely love how our home gym turned out. It's something that I use almost every day. And I'm super pumped that we got to partner with Lifeline Fitness because this equipment is really, really cool. And another big thanks to our sponsor, Dap, for helping us out with this awesome feature wall. But stop, before you go, make sure you check out this video up here. YouTube thinks you'll like it and I do too. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that button over there. And if you want the full written article on this post, make sure you hit that button down there. Until next time, be, be safe. Be safe and happy building. And happy building. See you guys.